I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Salutation and blessings to all the brothers out there pushing this word in sincerity and true. It's your brother Power Out coming with another video. Basically, this video is about the sign of the times. Uh, letting you know that we are at the end. Uh, if you notice, if you're in this thing of ours and you notice all the signs, you should know that we are coming to the end of this world, the end of an age. The so-called white man's rulership is, is, is coming down. And the Lord gives the prophets the eyes to see, you know, the prophet was called seers. And you can see uh, that we are at the end of time, uh, end of this, uh, this so-called age, this world. Uh, if you could, I mean, you see all these blood moons. Yesterday, uh, it was a blood moon, and it was a... Uh, uh, Today is the 28th of August, uh, 2018. If you looked yesterday, last night, and you saw that the uh, blood moon was so low, it looked like it was on the ground. I was like, wow. It, 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 was, it, was, it was tripped out, man. It was like, man, the, the, the moon is look like it's uh, on the earth, you know? Usually you have to look up and see it in the, you can see it in the heavens. But it looked, yesterday it looked like it was on the earth. You know, and it was a blood moon. And I, <clears throat> I can't even tell you how many blood moons we didn't have. You know, you had, you had, you had uh, 144 earthquakes in seven days. I mean, you got uh, all kind of wildfires on the, uh, on the uh, west coast. Of uh, California, I mean, it's all kind of stuff going on, and that's just here, you know. It's other other things that's going on uh, throughout the whole world. You know, you had a uh, like uh, uh, softball sized hail in, in certain places of the world. I mean, there's just a lot of things going on. This is uh, Matthew 24, number starting at 4. It says, And Yahweh shall answer and said, It says Jesus, but we gonna, I'm going to call him by his true name, Yahweh shall. This is uh, verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. That's, that's going on right now. Uh, and there, and there shall be pestilence, famines. There should be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. And they shall deliver you up, and uh, to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated. Of all nations for not my name's sake. And that's what's gonna happen. You know, all this all these things that happen, and these two thirds of our people are gonna deliver us up. I mean, it's nothing new under the sun. The same thing that happened to Yahweh Shai back in the Garden of Gethsemane, it's gonna to happen to us. People gonna people our family members maybe, two thirds of our own people are gonna deliver us up. You know, some of us, not all of us, but some of us going to get delivered up and they're going to kill us because y'all hate the prophets. You know, now I'm going to go to uh, Luke. It's going to say the same thing, 21. Uh, uh, let me 
verse uh, 10. And then he said unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fear, fearful sights, and great signs shall be shall be from heaven. And I just saw one. Last, we just saw one last night. I mean, it, it, it's getting to be so many signs that if you're not, if you don't look up, you you're missing out on a great work. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is doing. He's letting you know that he is on his way. I mean, it's just so many signs. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. You know, he said he was going to do it. Now he's going to give, he giving you an abundance of signs. But for the majority of our people, they are, they, they not, they not noticing anything. If they do notice it, they just look at it as, you know, just something, just it's just something in the sky, and they just take a picture of it or whatever, and just don't think nothing about it, you know. Um, but we, uh, all these signs are for us to uh, boost our faith up, so we can get up out of here, man. We 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 almost out of here. This is uh. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. That's, just, that's the reason why we want to get out of here. Those signs is to boost our faith up so we can get up out of here, because this is not our rest. Um, America is not your rest. It's a prison camp. You know, the Lord had us come over here on, on slave ships. For punishment, you know, in America, just a big prison house, you know, because you you in prison whether you inside a a, a a penitentiary or you're not. If you're in a penitentiary, you in hardcore bondage, you know, but you in bondage either way. So we need to get up out of here because it is polluted. I mean, it's polluted with pedophiles, uh, uh, homosexuals, you know, adulterers, you know, idol worshipers, all kind of things. That's how that's how polluted this place called America is. It, it, it's just so polluted that it's hard to even uh, get through day by day. It's so vexing. To see things that's going on in America, it's just, you just like, this is ridiculous. If you're in the spirit, but a lot of people, they're conformed to, to America's ways, and they don't see nothing wrong with seeing a bunch of faggots and lesbians walking around, you know, uh, people living on Skid Row, you know, people living outside in tents and all in their cars. People ain't see nothing wrong with it. They, they don't even say nothing about it. It's just a, 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 a normal thing now. It shall destroy you even with a sword of destruction. And that's what happened. It, it, it's destroying our people. The longer we hear, the more our people are destroyed. You know, the, the longer we sit here, the longer we're going to be destroyed. And, uh, and, the, and our people going to hold on to Esau. They looking for Esau, the so-called white man, to fix the problems that they having. Well, he's, he's the one causing your problems. But a lot of people don't, can't put two to two together. Because how about Shema Shah got, got our people under a deep sleep. You know? And he ain't going to wake them up until the missiles. <laughs> you know? If you're not a part, if you're not the hopeful elect, if you're not part of the elect, then he has a missile waiting on you. You know, so just a quick uh, video. I hope it was edifying. 
we at the end of days. The Lord's putting all the signs in the heavens for us to see that he's going to have his son make his second return, our big brother, and deliver us. Because the saints are wore out. I mean, we catching hell. We beat down. We got all kind of, uh, all kind of infirmities. You know, a lot of brothers are sick. You know, we go through all kind of bullshit. You know, all this, this, this fucking slavery. I mean, we ready to get the fuck out of here, man. You know. So I hope that was edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rekhar Kadash. Double honor to the Apostle of the Great Millstone. And salutation and blessings to the brothers out there pushing this word sincere and true. And with that, I'm going to say shalom.